All right, we're going to build an equatorial sundial today. So this is the kit I got from uh, a bong. Bong Incorporated. And it says it's easy, so that's good. So let's see how this is going to work. So let me take it out of the box. It was in a nice box, and the pieces are already laser cut, a uh, little burnt, but uh, already cut, and so let's take a look at what we can build here, and uh, see what it looks like when we get done. Alright, so let's see the instructions here. We've got uh, some nice instructions. Looks pretty good. Okay, that's what the saw is for. I was kind of wondering why it said I needed a saw. And it should be a fairly easy build. I've done some wood models before. And this looks like something that shouldn't be too bad to do. So. Let's get the parts out of the box. And we got some little bitty parts that I don't know if that's for something, but I'm going to keep it just in case. And let's see what we've got here. So, so it says, send in front of and back of parts to remove any marks or residue. Uh, all right. I don't want to actually rub off any of the lettering though. So maybe just a little white. It's just a little, little burnt, kind of tarnished. So I don't know if that's whatever. But let me go find a, a sand block and let me see if I can touch that up some. Okay, so. Let's just see if that makes enough difference to actually worry about. It lightens it up a little bit, but I'm not I'm not actually upset about the the little bit of markings there. I think that looks cool. So I'm not gonna worry about the same. Let's see what we get into. Apply goo glue to one end of the long pin and place it all the way into the locking pin knob. Wipe away any excess. Okay, so this is the long pin. And um, the locking part. Okay. Well, let's see what we got in this bag. We got oh, okay. I think that's it. All right, so use a little white glue and locking pin. Is that the locking pin? Uh, the or is this it? Let me look at the picture here. We've got to the long pin. Okay, long pin. All right, let's look over here. Long pin, pin, two long pins. Oh, okay, so that may not be the long pin. That may be something else. So maybe it's in here. All right. So long pin into the this base. Okay, let's let's actually look long pin. Okay. Alright. I don't know if that doesn't match the size, but from that it looks like this is the locking pin. So I'll put some glue on that. 
in just a little bit will do. And the front surface of the knob smooth and set the completed pin aside. Okay, so that first part's done. All right, we're making progress. All right, we need this plate. And let's move some of this stuff out of the way. I think that's all for later. And maybe parts I need to put back there. Okay, so here's this. So this part up and we need to make this is that's only on one side so we need two of these two of these okay center frame bearing outer frame bearings two pieces frame two pieces okay so we got those oh that one didn't pop out have something to push it out with. Do okay. Let's try this. I just made it, so let's see if it works. Here. There we go. Ah, oh, but those what those pieces are. Okay, that makes more sense. And there. Okay. And these parts go on either side. Okay. Just looking at the picture. And that goes in there. So all that goes like this. All right. So let's see. Sand in front and back, laser cut parts, remove any marks. Uh, uh, apply glue to the faces of the outer and center frame bearings. And along pins, assemble the bearings in glue using pins for alignment. Okay. Glue the assembly to the base plate firmly. Pressing the parts together as shown, wipe away excess glue. Okay, so we're going to glue this together with some more pins to hold it together and then glue that into this frame. Why will that not? There it goes. Okay, let me line those up. Okay. And so we want pins to go through all of that. So probably some of these long ones. And they've got two. So they should be able to go through. All right. So here we go. Take that out for a second. Put a little glue there. A little dab will do you. This. Here, this one, okay, now to assemble everything. So, good thing with using white glue is it doesn't dry super fast. So you have time to align things after you get things put together. So that is not looking right at all but I think after I get these aligned properly which that is harder than you think all right there we go that there let's put the pins through to line things up we'll move Maybe I should. Nope, that went through. Okay, we're at this one. That went through. Okay, we're at the next one. Come on, there we go. That one's in. All right. Well, push. There we go. And then the last one, bam, those are through. Let's get these others in over here. So I need another pin. That's through. That one 
this uh, through. That's through. Let me just take a look. There we go. That's in. Oh, push it too far. How about there's a little bit more. And whoop, don't break it. Don't break it. Don't break it. There we go. All right. There they lined up. All right. There we go. Pins are all the way through. And it says glue the assembly to the base plate, firmly pressing the parts together as shown. Okay, press them together. Then we're going to glue this into the base plate. So I want to put a little glue there. Just a little bit. Some on the sides of these pins. Just because I don't even know if they touch, but that's okay. A little glue there. And this whole thing goes right there. Okay. Looking good so far. Bring it pressed down. All right. It says use the saw to cut off the excess bits of the pin. So that's what I've got this for. Which actually may be too many teeth for this. is too many teeth. Let me try a different one. All right. Oh, that's much better. There we go. This one probably still has too much teeth. There we go. All right. Finally. All right. So that's together. Seems to hold. All right. So what's the next piece? Okay. We've got that sand surfaces using razor saw. I guess you. That's why you need a razor saw because. That one's not working very well, but let's press on. All right, so now we got to build a frame. So I'm going to set this over here to dry and settle. All right, so short paint pins. All right, let's pull these out. Place the front and rear right frames marked side down on a flat surface. Take the right frame, right, and we want to write rear, right, rear, yeah, 
this, okay? You're going to put the lean. Okay. All right, so these parts, put a little glue, and we're going to put them here, okay. and some glue on this one. All you need is white glue. This stuff is great. Here. Okay. All right. So this will go there. These go here. Here. All right. And So these go here and the pins go through and we've got to glue it all together so it will fit. Alright, so let's go with this. Okay. So let's put some glue. Hold on. How's this go? Does it go like this? Okay, those holes are for over there. Okay. It made it go on either side. All right, so let's put some glue here. Dot there. Uh, I'll go ahead and put some glue in these holes because I am going to push that pin all the way through and go ahead and mount this. So I'll go ahead and put that here. And if I'm smart, I'm going to do the other one as well. And then they go in here. Through. Yeah, that went through. Okay. So those there. And let's do this side. Same process. A little glue here, a little glue there. That one nice. Okay, those fit well. All right, now for the big piece. All right, that goes here. And okay, so I need to glue here, some glue there. That's tight. There we go. Uh, there. And there. Now. Let's see. Oh. There we go. 
that is oh that's nice okay that worked out well all right so we got that in now we got to put the other side on okay, that's the back so that needs to go here all right so let's put some glue on the stick on that over here on this and around here okay now the hard part about this one is getting all those pins to go where they're supposed to go. I'm just going to put a little glue here. There. To help hold this together. Okay, so... Oh, that one was actually in the home. Oh, there we go. Ha 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 ha. There we go. Nice. Uh, let's see if their other side goes in. And I do have it on the right side. Alright, so glue there. Here. Here, here. Put some more glue there. Whole lot, just enough to hold everything together. All right. So, okay. Nice. have the frame done. I've got to saw those pins off. But let me let it dry some before I do that. Okay. All right. What's next? Uh, let me clean off the table here. And we've got to do... This frame that says do not glue. Okay, so let's get rid of this extra glue here. All right. Well, that glues. Let's see what we got here. That's those parts. Uh, using the guide on the side of this page. Mark the style in two places. How am I supposed to mark it? Just with a pen. Mark the first location there at six centimeters from one end, and the second mark 17.15 centimeters from the other end. Use sandpaper to taper uh, opposite end. Form a blunt point on the other side. Okay, so we got to um, mark two points here and I got a ruler here so let me let me just spot check something. Okay. Wow. That is six centimeters. That is 17, what did I say? 17.1, okay. 6.3? 
Up. Okay. Wow. All right. Interesting. So let me grab a pin. All right. So you want up there and. to taper forming a blunt point as shown on the guide. Okay, so we gotta form a kind of a blunt point. So It's going to take forever. I'm going to do a trick. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I formed a blunt point because I cheated and I used a pencil sharpener to do that. So it may not be perfectly centered, but I guess we're good to do for right now until I figure out exactly what we're going to do. Stand the front and back of the surfaces, blah, blah, blah. Slide the style through the mounts positioner and dial until the lowest mark is aligned with the inside face of the rear mount. Okay. Glue the style to the frame at both mounts. Align the unmarked face of the positioner with the second mark and glue it to the style. Okay, the positioner is our positioner is this. Okay. Let me just read this again. Make sure I know what I'm doing. Slide the style through the dial until the lowest mark. Okay. So slide this through the dial until the lowest mark is aligned with the face, inside face of the rear mount. Okay, so, all right, rear mount. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, so. We're sliding this through. All right, and I am done. Okay, let's try it again. Positioner. through do not glue the dial whoops okay glue the style to the frame at both mounts okay hold on. until the lowest is aligned with the inside face of the rear mount the lowest okay so rear of the mount inside face on the rear mount. Okay, so that's there. All right. Glue the style to the frame at both mounts. Align the unmarked face of the positioner with the second mark. Okay, gotcha. Okay. The un. What I think? The 
unmarked face. All right. Uh, <laughs> I need to flip that over. Do, 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 do. Over, go. That goes through. So, okay. One more time. Uh, to the lowest mark is aligned with the inside face of the rear mount. Inside face of the rear mount. There we go. All right. Now we got it on the right. Glue this now to the frame at both mounts. Align the unmarked face to the positioner with the second mark and glue it to the style. Okay. So we need to first There. Okay, so I glued that into place and that can still turn, which Actually, I'm not upset about, even though it said to glue it in place. I don't know if I exactly want it glued. I might glue it later after I check on a few things. All right, so let's see. So far, that looks good. That's for later. All right, let's see how to finish this out. Okay, finish the simply dial, locking pin, locking pin, and base. All right, so the rest, this is, uh, so my latitude's about, oh, actually I need to saw those pins off. Probably should have done that before I put that wheel in. Let's see what I can do. I may not need a saw. I've got some snips that I can use. So let me go grab them. I know it says saw them off, but I just want to check something. That'll work. All right, let me shoot it off across the room. But there we go. This is a lot easier than working with that saw. There we go. And there we go. It. it. There we go. That one was nice. There we go. All right. That took care of that. All right. Now let's see what we got. Put this in here. Uh, Latitude is about. Okay. So how does it say to set this up? Okay. That actually looks pretty good. If I just leave it like that, without putting the pin through, that looks nice. I like that. Okay. So let's see. Uh, place the dial on the base and tilt it until the mark indicating the latitude is at the edge of the frame guide. Okay, so we're about 30, probably 
wait, 37 degrees? 35, 36, 37. And let's see. Adjust the frame guide. The five hooks at the frame guide allow adjustments to within one degree. Slide the locking pin through the hole, which best align with the hole in the frame. Okay, so let's see. That fits there. That holds it in place. All right, there we go. Uh, so you have to orient this with the geographic pole to north. And then you should be able to tell the time after you set this, I guess this will turn so you can orient to set the time. I do it this way so you can see. So that will move in order to set the time to your local noon. Okay, not the noon on the clock, but your local noon. All right, so there we go. I like this. Uh, it says in the instructions that if you want to keep it outside, they kind of cover it with like um, a coating to protect it against the wind and elements and water and stuff like that. Uh, I probably won't leave this outside. I'm going to use this maybe occasionally as a demonstration, but I think for the most part, I'm going to use it just as... Uh, Uh, a demonstration. All right, well, uh, thank you for watching. Let me know if you like uh, videos of me trying to build a model, even though I uh, apparently should have read the directions a little bit better. And uh, see how these go. I like these wood models, but I may try some of the other uh, types of models if you like this type of video. So please leave a like and a comment. And uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.